previously on the Ultimate Iron Man series. Oh my god! 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 Oh my fucking god! We became one of a select few of Ultimate Iron Men in the game to achieve full Torva. I was having so much fun on this grind that after we got the full Torva, I actually decided to stay at Nex. There's one more item here that has the potential to change everything. And so, a new journey begun. The Zarate Crossbow or the Zarate Crossbow. Whichever comes, Zarate Crossbow. Alrighty friends, we are coming in with the first KC on the video, KC number 8. A lot of people are thinking that the Zarate Crossbow is going to come first, but personally, I feel like the Zarate Crossbow is going to come first. Feel free to comment below your thoughts. Alrighty friends, another KC at the next. What do we get? Oh, the Nihil Shard. I bet no one's made that joke before. Oh, the other guy died, which means this is a duo KC. If there's any time to get a it, drop, it's here, man. Oh, we didn't even get anything. Oh, looks like we're going to do our first ever private instance. These guys are going to pay for it. And then I just pass through the private ancient barrier. We're at 800 KC. I've never done this before. Let's see how it goes, I guess. Whose fight would you like to join? I have to type their fucking name in. I don't, I don't know what his name was. B4 Vingus. Oh, it worked. Wow, interesting. And now that we're in the private instance, we can't get crashed, so that's pretty cool. Plus, we don't have to spend a bunch of time hopping for an open world, because we make an open world with our own, uh, by our, we, we did, we did it our own, our, by ourselves. That you, um, you had, you, you, Oh, all right. The first cannonball drop coming in on the video. Those are one of the few things that we are actually picking up from this grind. So as always, those will go right here until the end of the trip and then we'll put them in the looting bag. I don't know if I've ever actually had a zero damage P5, but this is about to be it if we don't take a single more. Yep, there it is. We didn't take a single damage that whole P5. I don't think I've ever seen that. Oh God. Well, I'm just doing this silly clue. We got the Rune Heraldic Helm, Split Bark Body, Granite Shield, Blue Step. I have been locked out of this clue for the last, uh, well, the entire length of the account because I didn't have a Rune Heraldic Helm, but I just got one like, uh, I don't know, maybe a month ago or something. It's sitting in here in the POH. There it is. So theoretically I could go do this clue step. I just don't have the split bark body, so I'd have to go get that. I would have to go to Chaos Fanatic. It's 1 in 25 from Chaos Fanatic. That's like nothing. Do I do it? 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 All right, time for everyone's favorite time. UAM suicides 5 billion GP worth of items on the ground. <laughs> With the timer set to delete them in one hour. Let's see how much Chaos Fanatic we can do. So Chaos Fanatic is weak to range, so I just brought a nice little range setup. Although this is not hitting very much. I probably should have went and made a rune crossbow instead of using the MSB. But it'll have to do, because I just want to get out of here. So, I don't know, something sunken cost fallacy. We're, we're staying... This is, we're gonna make this work. Oh, oh dude, this split bark body. Damn, that only took 11 KC, so like a little under half the drop rate. I am done with this. I am so done with this. Get me out of here, dude. I'm panicking, I'm panicking. Set destination, set destination, okay. Okay, <laughs> we're good. And we are safe. Oh, all right. Yeah, hopefully I never have to go to the wilderness again. I probably will at some point, but that is just not a good time. Having to suicide like 5 billion GP worth of items on the ground over here. And now it's time for the last part of the thing, the granite shield. Oh, oh shit, we're gonna die. Get out of here. Oh shit, dude, that took forever. Ever. Oh my god, that took forever. We got the granite shield. Bro, I had to kill 400 ice trolls. I went pretty dry on that. That took about, I want to say, around two hours. So with that, we will go ahead and take our spare rune heraldic helm out of the POH here. There it is. All right, dude, this is a long time coming on the account. Boom, stashing it built and failed. We'll go ahead and complete the clue step now. Yeah, it feels great. That feels great. There is the elite casket. What do we get? All right, 21 purple sweets. That's nice for the tickets and the master clue. I guess, uh, yeah, we'll go ahead and see if we can do this. And in case for whatever reason you don't believe me, we'll come over to the view stash chart here, come over to elite, and you will see they are all both built and filled. So there you go. Alrighty, friends. So I am going to do this master clue. However, before we get to that, there's one little thing I want to do. Because I just so happen to have these vials of blood in my inventory from suiciding to kill Chaos Fanatic, I figure I may as well put the blood runes 
that we've gotten from Nex into the Virewell blood bank, but I'm pretty sure if we interact with this Virewell, we are going to get a neato little message about our refunded blood runes from the mistake that Jagex made when they buffed the scythe. Hey, Oh, there it is. <laughs> you have found 36,700 blood runes that were owed to you following the recent changes to the Virewell. Hell yeah. So I guess that's how many blood runes we lost in the Virewell, and that's how many blood runes we just got refunded thanks to the scythe buff and the post hoc scythe buff jagex fixing the situation situation so anyway yeah we're gonna put i guess all of these blood runes back into the virewell we'll do 230 so we can hold on to some blood runes for the thralls 1700 that sounds pretty good to me and yeah that is great i've been meaning to do that for a long time and now we are looking good looks like we are back up to yeah 120k blood runes in the virewell so that is amazing all right this is going to be the master clue completed i am obligated to inform you that yeah, we got 1kc third age from our first master clue on this account so this clue is guaranteed to be third age what do we get wow wait loki actually does next in a next video he could probably finish next by doing next i would imagine oh we actually got something wow ayo <laughs> That is the rarest thing you can get from this boss. The Ancient Hilt coming in at 819 KC. Whoa, that's crazy. That's unique for him. Hey, I was not expecting to get the duo the duo drop there. Yeah, it's our first ever duo drop. That's pretty sick. And as is the case with Nexers, we are not going to waste any time at all. We are jumping straight back in. We'll probably end up splitting that later. Yeah, that is a that is the first unique we've seen in a while. So definitely feels good, man. We will continue on. Alrighty, friends. Well, the guy who got the Ancient Hilt died so we're gonna be splitting it now mr muck 16.4 mil you love to see it putting us up to 1.117 bill so far this grind Alrighty, friends well i died it's all right it was a lag out couldn't do anything about it however this will allow me to show you our newest method of getting back to god wars that was recommended by a viewer i'll try and find his comment and post it on screen but essentially we just come to gommel and we claim our gommel's hilt 5 which i guess we can get in infinite of. I currently have one attached on my Avernic, which is in the death's chest at the Nex. But yeah, since you can get as many as you want, I can just get one, teleport straight to Trollheim, and we are going to be good to go. Alrighty, friends, another KC at the Nex. Oh! Oh! YXY coming in with the Torva plate body. What the fuck? I have seen like, I have seen like 10 Torva plate bodies now. That is so much GP. That is the most expensive thing that you can get from this place. And that's all I can seem to see is this. <laughs> I think I've only seen like one legs and three helms and like literally like probably I think 10, 10 tour of plate bodies. Oh my God, dude. We are going to be going for the back to back, of course. All right. As we were running the back to backs, the guy who got the drop died. So we are going to be getting the split now. 140 million GP. Oh, that is nice. Putting us up to 1.257 bill. Absolutely amazing all right well we took the life from like six or seven bots this round but we got ourselves an lms win so i will consider that a win periodically as i drop off the loot into the looting bag in the ferrix enclave between trips i will end up doing a couple of games of lms here and there because i'm a filthy lms addict and i cannot help myself it's a real issue so yeah we are now up to 376 looting bags absolutely amazing hey you know mudkip no i am mudkip I am Mudkip. I am Mudkip, guys. What are you talking about? Alrighty, friends, another kill at the next. No, 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 no. Oh, fuck. I almost died. Jesus Christ. Oof. That was scary. <laughs> we didn't die, though. Oh, God. Oh, my God. Bro. Bro. Oof. That was a lot to handle. <laughs> One of the number one suggestions that I've gotten from you guys is to try this plugin called called Nex Nostalgia. That's just what I had on right there. And uh, well, you saw what it did. I think that's what it probably did in RS3. Nex will like say out loud all of the things that she says in game. I like it with, without that happening because that was kind of intense. I'm glad that I tried that out because a lot of people have been saying that I should try it and now I've tried it. I should probably turn it on for a full kill though to get like the full breadth of the experience. But I think I'm... I think I'm good. So, ooh, we got a nice KC coming in here. KC number 876, the sixth reverse sequentially descending numerically oriented KC. Now that is content.
Oh, no way. The Torva plate legs for Jer J. That was the last item that Muck needed to get his Torva set completed. Big Sages in the chat for Mr. Muck. But I was not expecting that. Yeah, wow. It's been a while since we've gotten a drop. That is a cool thing to see. And here we go. What is it going to be? Like 100 mil, right? 107.8 mil. We're going to like make so much fucking money off of this. That officially puts us up to 1.365 billion gold pieces. Doesn't get better than that. Alrighty, friends. There is another 400 ancient essence acquired, which means we are ready for another four hours or so at next. We are coming up on the seven hour mark on the stream. So we are really buckling in for the long haul here. All right, well, that was about the fastest ever elite casket. What do we get? Nice. It's actually not nice. That was sarcasm, in case you couldn't tell. Alrighty, friends, that is the big old number 900 KC. I tried to hit record and accidentally closed the recorder, so we got a weird snippet of it, but there it is, 900 KC. Bruise on Expulse, so you'll love to see it. Yeah, we are going to keep on going. We got 100 more left for the 1,000. Quick little peek at the collection log, just for data keeping purposes. We are at 2,800 hill shards. That means we should have expect to have seen seven uniques in this amount of KC, because it's 400 hill shards per drop on average. And instead we are at 10 unique. So that is very, very lucky. And yeah, I think well, with that all said, let's go ahead and keep on going. Editing Loki here. I just wanted to say that I don't really show very many clips of me dying to Nex, but it does happen periodically. Here is just a very innocent example of me dying simply because I was not praying right. Because Nex will hit you like over a 50 during certain parts of the fight if you're not praying. So we're just going as if everything's fine and then suddenly we're dead. So pro tip, don't do that. Well, on the bright side, this is kind of a nice thing. Actually, I was kind of planning to suicide sometime soon anyway. As we're putting all this stuff back into the looting bag, I'm going to make one small adjustment to our current setup. I'm actually going to be putting these dragon arrows into the looting bag. We have 5,400 of them left. I think I've used about 12,000 so far on this grind, so that is great. We got a ton of value out of those, although I do want to hold on to those for our combat achievement grind that we have coming up very soon. A lot of tasks to go, and a lot of them are going to be like speedruns type tasks. We got Theater of Blood, TOA, all of the Inferno and Fight Cave tasks. So yeah, we're going to need a lot of Dragon Arrows for that most likely. So yeah, we'll go ahead and hold on to those. And then yeah, I should have like 60,000 Amethyst Arrows or so stored in the next death chest at the moment. So that'll be the arrows that we are going to be using from now on. Yeah, it looks like we've got a total of 68,000 of them. So considering that we only use like 12,000 Dragon Arrows and 800, 900 next KC, these are probably going to last us for a very, very long time. You could just like leave this in here as like a cinematography, cinematic shot. Something about beauty lies in the eyes of the beholder. Insert pedantic Buddhist imagery. Something about a heron in the moonlight dripping with silver. I don't know to get like four likes. Okay, we've got a duo coming in here. We only have two brews left, so this might not be enough, but we're going to try our darndest to get this thing. Bro literally just suicided for me. There's no way we're going to make it out of this, right? <laughs> this is crazy. I've never done a solo. <laughs> I can't believe he did that for me. Well, here we go. First ever solo. <laughs> 917 KC coming in with the soul runes and the restores. So we're going to go ahead and put the cannonballs into the looting bag, putting us up to a total of 43,000 cannonballs. You'll love to see it. And I have been nexing all day. We're currently six and a half hours into the stream and I am going to do a bit of LMS to restore my spirits because that white screen, the next layer takes a lot out of you. Yay, we won a game of LMS finally. That took forever, but we did it. Anything to keep me away from Nex. I wonder if we could get something. Maybe we should get something cool. 400 points is a lot of points. Yeah, okay. I think we're going to do something a little bit fun here. Not too fun, but just a little bit fun. I'm going to go ahead and buy one of these expensive items in here. And the thing that I'm going to buy is this Swift Blade. It costs 350 points. So that's like, you know, probably like 10 hours of LMS or something. Assuming you're getting like at least a couple wins per hour. And here we go. Boom. We acquired it. Collection log unlocked. The Swift Blade. This thing is an incredibly unique item to have on a UAM. And the reason for that is because it's a three tick weapon. Okay, well that didn't showcase it very well. This is one of the rare three tick melee weapons. As you can see, it's incredibly fast. The fastest melee weapon in the game tied with like the RPG event thing that you get from Diango. But the nice thing about this thing is that it's also storable in the POH. It's got like no stats because it's like, I don't think it requires any attack levels to wear, but I'm pretty sure the most common place you see this thing is at Theater of Blood, specifically for the Nilo costume. It's kind of like an advanced 
giant strat, I guess. And you can also use it at the Fosani's Nightmare, if I'm not mistaken, to kill the Sleepwalkers, because you automatically one hit no matter what. So the faster the weapon, the better. And yeah, if I'm not mistaken, you can use it on the armor case. Boom, there it is. We have a storable weapon in the armor case. That's not too common. So yeah, we'll probably go get more LMS points soon enough. And I guess with that, we will get back on into the next. There we go. Another next kill completed. What do we get? Oh, 945 KC. We are coming in with rune sword number, what is that? Six? Rune sword number six on the grind. That is a rare drop. Rarer than the Zarite Van Braces. Another kill at the next. What do we get? Oh my god! Oh my god! Whoa! Damn. Look at that, boys. Torva plate body the number one most expensive item that you can get from here torva plate body 418 million gp <laughs> coming in at uh 967 kc yeah that is great we've gotten i think we've seen like what 10 11 of those now so much fucking gp yep there it is torva plate body number two for us out of 11 seen two helms one leg five vams ancient hilt that is crazy man 967 kc i can't believe it i can't believe how much fucking gp we are getting on this grind this is gonna be such a big split although you guys know how it is with next when you get a drop that means you go right back in to get even more drops so i'm a little bit sad that that wasn't the horn but like barely it's just super cool to see a drop so having said all of that we are gonna keep on going here and then we will split the team very soon bro i just realized we're raiding with jacked and jillith it's jack and jill what are the odds what are the odds Alrighty, friends well it is now time that we go ahead and drop the torva play body on over to the bond alt what a beautiful beautiful sight that is so much gp man so much gp just gonna double check we have our torva plate body yep there it is and the alt will pick it up for a nice juicy 418 mil minus the one percent ge tax so 414 mil which means we're gonna have 138 mil split each you love to see it putting us up to a total of 1.5 billion gp so far on the grind doesn't get better than that actually it does get better than that and it probably will get better than that because chances are we're not going to get the horn on our next drop so there you go oh hey the, the lms guy i mean next guy does the lms winning so there you go hey guys just woke up for the day and this clip is to show you Ooh, we are going to be re-upping our cosmic rune stack for the first time on the grind so here is 1600 cosmic runes for our thrall casts approximately 61 hours according to my calculation 61 hours of thrall uptime so that is hopefully going to be enough to get us uh the stuff that we need Alrighty, friends our first next kill of the day what do we get oh my god we got an item on the first kill of the day the torva full helm coming in for kxh soris was the mvp the iron man mvp who has no pieces of torva <laughs> and he did not get that man i'm barely even awake yet i was not prepared for that but yeah i believe that is our fifth helmet that we've encountered along this grind pretty pretty nice another kill at the next can we get the first ever back to back on the series no back to back what do we get 87 mil that is a nice healthy split right there absolutely spectacular another kill at the next what do we get oh my god bro Dude, two items in one login session. The Torva Plate Body number 12. Torva Plate Body number 12 at 977kc. Dude. <laughs> That is huge. That was also an eight minute kill because these guys aren't the fastest. Pretty slow kill. We were MVP, of course, but I don't really mind. I still haven't seen a single horn. I've probably seen 20 plus items and I haven't seen a single horn yet. The horn is the only thing that eludes us at the moment. Yeah, we uh, <laughs> we got another drop, man. We got another drop. There we go. Yeah, we were up to 1.72 bill. Dude, we're going to get 2 billion GP on this grind alone. Wow, that is absolutely 100% amazing and incredible. 
Oh my fucking god, you guys. Oh my fucking god. Oh my fucking god. Torva full helm on the ground. 996KC. That is our third item in the last like 20KC. This one is in our name, so that's pretty cool. Um, <laughs> yeah, that is, I believe that is like the seventh or eighth one we've seen so far. That is our third one, if I'm not mistaken. Yeah, that is our third one. So yeah, <laughs> but that's, we are gonna keep on going. 4kc left for the big ol' 1000. Yes, because uh, I don't want to leave here with our engine essence, I'm going to have Mr. Poto Sequati come over here and pick up the Torva Full Helm because Never Purple is an Iron Man. This way, he can pick it up, he can sell it on the Grand Exchange, and he can split us all. The only thing is, someone theoretically come in and snipe this at any point, however, it should be fine. I'm only streaming for 27 people at the moment, so chances are it's not going to be a problem. Did he get it? Looks like he got it. Oh wait, what is that? I have never seen that. Mm, okay then, I guess. Yeah. All right, well, I guess we'll go hop on the alt here and then get our split. Ooh, there we go. A nice and juicy, juicy 88 mil split. Putting us up to a grand total of 1.808 billion GP. So far on the grind, we are a couple splits away from the big old two bill. If we can get a max cash stack, then that'll be absolutely incredible. So I guess we will keep on going. Here we go. It's a big old 1000 KC at the next. We're looking absolutely beautiful in the chat box there. Yeah. <laughs> We are at a thousand next, man. There it is. We did indeed do 1000 KC. Six out of eight on the log. Pretty good. I'm really happy with that. Now, if we go ahead and show the loot tracker, for some reason it only has 972 kills logged. I guess we, yeah, we did start this grind at 25 KC because I had to get the 25 KC for the elite combat achievements a long time ago. But yeah, it looks like 2.81 billion GP, 287 MVPs, a bit under a third of the time we got the MVP. Man, that just feels really good that feels really good i remember i was like super nervous to start this grind a long time ago and you know what it turned out that everything ended up being okay and you know what else the zarite crossbow didn't even come first so that means in the next video we are going to be continuing on which I am extremely excited for, because as of right now, I'm actually enjoying Next more than ever. So if you want to be notified when the next video drops, feel free to subscribe. And as always, guys, thank you for watching. Stay safe out there. Take care. Until next time, I love you. Bye. Massive shout out to the YouTube members at the Silver Tier. We've got Chester, Thornforge, Brendan, Toasty the Wizard, Benjamin H, Cookie Cake, Gangplank Main, Kenneth M, Nihilism, Rip, Trogothor, Chicken Noodles, Clump, Alfredo, GPT, Cope, Fruboy, and Jacob P. The Gold Tier, we've got Iaea, Misks, David Boone, Kill the Queen, Bellham, Dubbing Till Death, Gilly, Obtainable Beer, a Meft, a Morn Tripod, Soapski, Big Dick 69, It Slits, Room Lose, Scorelots, and our newest member, D Stock. Cheers, guys. See you in the next one.